sawmill guys let's do a little mail call here check this out this is a 32 inch french curb ash single bit ads handle with the proper grain orientation right there that's nice right there my buddy killinger gets these up in ohio ordered this from him last week there's a link down below to his etsy store this is about 52 dollars this is one of the higher end ones though you can get them cheaper than that but this is really nice right here and a little fact for you guys i am a very very avid ats collector i've got a huge ats collection i love them i'm all time buying them on ebay and at flea markets and stuff like that i just don't show them on the channel here a lot and i probably should show them more often so i'm not sure what ats will put on this but i'll do a video on it i think i've got a nice collins single bit michigan pattern we'll put on this so that's enough about that i'll see you guys up at the mill all right guys real quick here as you can see this is the new toolbox i installed about two weeks ago I've done a video on that if you didn't see it go back and watch it this is a u.s general toolbox i got it at harbor freight about 200 dollars with everything on it but here's my problem with it i need some stickers guys when i open up this lid to put my cameras in here and get my tools and all that stuff there's nothing to look at so if any of you guys out there with youtube channels or instagram accounts have stickers so on your woodworking shop sawmill shops whatever you're doing i don't care i don't care for doing pottery send me a sticker and i'll put it on here guys and you people can see it on the videos I need to decorate this up a little bit so it looks better so thanks in advance and uh, my address is down below the p.o box so feel free to send me any stickers and i'll throw them on there all right guys up here at the mill here's what we got lined up for today got a white pine right there we'll talk about that void here in just a second behind it we got another white pine this one right here is going to be a six by six for the timber frame for a floor joist for the loft right behind it my goodness it's a nasty log right there got a lot of sweep in it swells out here at the bottom i have no idea what we're going to do with that one probably two befores maybe and right behind it we'll probably get to this one by tonight is one of those hemlocks we unloaded yesterday looking forward to getting that one on the sawmill guys i love sawing hemlock i rarely get it here at the sawmill really appreciate my buddy greg for hooking me up with those those are nice so the first one on the mill today guys is a white pine it's an eight footer the diameter is pretty good it's about 20 inches down here on this end but check that out and that is not from the hinge or nothing like that that's a flat face cut right there so it's not like you had hinge wood getting pulled out or anything that's a void right there and it goes up pretty deep it goes about three feet up into this timber that's a shame because look how clear that white pine is right there that's nice we would got some really nice cabinet grade boards out of this four quarter if it wasn't for that and you probably still could if you wanted to but based on that void you know you got the void right here you got the pith in the middle you got some good material right here it's not really enough to make a good stack so we're gonna make two by fours i need about a hundred more of them for the barn got a pretty good stack going right over there behind the toolbox that's mostly yellow pine some white pine a little bit of poplar but that's a shame right there because that would have been a really good saw log for some good boards for cabinet makers and stuff like that that's a shame right there i don't know what causes that who knows but we'll still get something good out of it we'll get some nice two by fours out of it and move on to something else did i mention how nasty this log is right here i have no idea what we're gonna do with it look at the bottom right there it just swells out something awful it's also got a little bit of a curve to it what a mess all right guys let's get to it
right guys, that first cut went really good, no big issues there. I'm not sure what to do with this. If I try to cut that out of it, I'm gonna get a lot of loss right there. I think I'll just square this up and start making boards and see how it goes. Now normally you want your timber to fall on both toe boards so you can raise it up. As you can see right here, I missed it by about six inches, but I got it down there on that end. So what I did was I raised that one up down there and I come in here underneath it with my log clamp and raised it up the rest of the way to get off these bed rails. Now make sure this is good and balanced when you raise it up. You don't want this thing teetering on top of your clamp. And also make sure your bat stops are up on the other side or else the timber's liable to roll off. That's happened to a lot of people. I've been lucky over the years. So I guess we'll call this Free Tip Friday, guys, for you people running sawmills out there. I come in here with my brush and I clean off those bed rails because if there's a little bit of sawdust that's accumulated or a tiny little piece of bark, that's gonna throw your cant out of being square. And it just takes a second to do this. You just get in there with your brush and make sure this thing's up here and good and secure. You don't wanna get your hand crushed or nothing. And just kind of swipe those bed rails and get all the debris off of them. Cause look right here. There's just a little bit of sawdust on this rail, but there right there is possibly enough to throw your cant out of square up to a sixteenth of an inch. I've seen it happen. And that's a very bad day right there to drive you crazy. So make sure you get that stuff off the bed rail, guys, because it makes a difference. Get your timber nice and square and it's gonna look better. So let's get the sawmill back to running, square this thing up and try to decide what I'm gonna do with this terrible void. All right, friends, this thing right here is wicked. Let me tell you, this cavity goes up almost two feet inside the timber and it's still pretty soft. Not good right there, not good. And this is a shame because this timber right here is really nice as far as the defects. It looks really clear on the top and these sides and would have produced some cabinet grade pine in my opinion. Four quarter and five quarter lumber, just really aggravating, but We'll still get something good out of it, even though we got this terrible void right here. So I'm gonna do two by fours, actual dimension two by fours, none of that nominal stuff. So we'll come down from the top, and it looks like we're about three, uh, we're about two and three quarters of an inch from that void. So we'll come down two inches and make our first cut. We'll get a few two by fours out of this piece right here. Then we'll flip it 45 degrees and start right here and work our way down making two inch cuts. We'll probably get about three layers right here that we'll turn up and 
cut it four inches after that. And that's probably gonna be about it, guys. This bottom right here, I'm, I will be surprised if there's anything in there, but you never know. Once we take this top off with this void stops in some places, you know, we can cut some two before those will be short on one end. So we'll do the best we can. friends we're broke down check it out we broke a blade look at there that doesn't happen a whole lot guys i've only done that probably four or five times in 10 years of sawing 
And what really surprises me, this is a brand new blade. It's probably got 500, maybe 400 board feet on it. That usually doesn't happen to a brand new blade, but it does happen sometimes. Sometimes metal will fail on you. So that's what happens when the blade breaks, guys. You lose tension and you automatically see that pressure gauge go down to zero. And it always makes that loud noise, that pop, whenever it pops off there. So part of it, guys, pull that one off and put on a new one. <laughs>